Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia! May His grace and peace be with you. May He fill our hearts with joy. Easter greetings to you all on this second Easter Sunday during the coronavirus pandemic. Who could have thought? Our focus today remains on our growth in faith while caring for one another and keeping each other safe. It is now more important than ever during this pandemic that we wear our masks, that we keep socially distancing from one another, that we are getting our vaccination when possible. We would also like to extend an invitation, as you have seen in the communication we sent out to you, Later on during this day and in groups, you are invited to go on an Easter egg hunt here around the church, not inside, but outside. And again, we urge you to wear your mask, to not get so close to each other, but to look for signs of new life around your church. A big thank you to all for your participation in our ministry and in this worship service. Wherever you are, please pray with us, read with us. If you're prepared for us, celebrate God's holy communion with all of us from your home. I invite you to join me now in prayer. God of all mercy, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead, for he is a life and has become the Lord of life. Still celebrating your resurrection in the middle of a pandemic, increase in our midst and in our hearts the risen life we share with Christ and help us to grow in faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we have Sue with us this Easter morning. Are you ready to join me, Sue? I guess she has no choice. Martin? Yes? Where's my Easter egg? Um, oh, Sue, if, if, as if there wasn't anything more important than, than your Easter egg this morning. I, I don't know where it is. I, I guess you have to go and, and search and look for it. That's what it's all about, you know? What? Why would I have to search? Well... I guess because it's, you know, things, things don't come easy always in our lifetime. We sometimes have to go and search and, and make an extra effort to find. And, and that goes for all kinds of things. Uh, I don't like it. I don't know. Mm, you know, I shouldn't eat so much chocolate anyway. It's not good for my figure. Hmm. Uh, and, and it's not really a symbol of Easter anyway. Oh, but it is, Sue. But it is. The egg reminds us of new life, new potential, of new things altogether. But I don't want to look all by myself. I might not even find one. Well, <clears throat> then wait and look, Sue. You never know. God might send some more people in search of new life and of an Easter egg to remind them of God's goodness. You think so? 
I don't know, Sue, but all I can tell you is that God works in mysterious ways. Mm. Happy Easter, Martin. Happy Easter, everybody. And you too, Sue. Happy Easter to you as well. Come the chief cornerstone on this day the Lord has acted we will rejoice and be glad hallelujah 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 and now let us listen to the holy gospel for this special Holy Easter Sunday morning. the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us now listen to the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the Gospel of Mark from the 16th chapter. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone. 
for they were afraid. Good news, the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to the word of the Lord. And now may only God's truth be spoken. And may only God's truth be heard. Amen. Friends, how are you doing this second Easter during the pandemic? How are you doing? That is also the question my spiritual director always asks me after opening prayer, how are you doing, Martin? I paused at the beginning of our last session about 10 days ago, and then I said, I, I feel a bit like a tumbleweed. I know tumbleweeds mostly from watching some old Western-style movies as a child. There they were, these strange, weird-looking balls of dried-out branches being blown around in deserted towns and deserts where there was no life. Yes, sometimes I feel dried up, confused, and alienated in strange surroundings. Sometimes I feel like I don't know what is up or down, left or right. Life seems to blow us around, and I seem to be at the mercy of the elements, without a purpose, or just laid aside and stuck somehow. It is true for many of us these days, personally, but also for our schools, our hospitals, our businesses. It's everywhere, really. We are being tossed around, locked down, no lockdown. The vaccines are safe, maybe not entirely, many hours trying to book a vaccination appointment. Well, I think getting vaccinated is the much better choice, certainly the safer option than letting the virus spread around even further with a chance of more mutations into more and more dangerous versions. I'd take any vaccine over that. But the experience we all share these days is the clear realization that we are not in control. All these things happen to us. And easily, we can feel completely overwhelmed. These days, weeks, months resemble more the experience of being together online in an upper room of sorts. Just like the early disciples, we are each caught up in our own personal mixture of anxiety and hope. The general mood seems to be more in tune with Good Friday than with the spectacular news of Holy Easter. This experience, however, always has been and always will be part of our life. 
just that we are going through something like this now all together at the same time. And still there are very good reasons for us to be hopeful in it all. Easter reminds us of the other dimension of our lives, of today's reality. Easter is God's promise to us, and therefore always a possibility. And we can see this. Never before has humanity been able to develop vaccines so quickly and efficiently. And we now have them available to us. Billions of people do not yet. And there is so much more good news. Summer is approaching and you have a chance during the next weeks of lockdown to truly experience the new life in God's creation. Still, how can we connect with that dimension of life, the dimension of faith, of hope, and love? How can we experience Easter? Here again is where the tumbleweed might be a fitting symbol. In so many ways, our loving God models for us what is essential and needed for our survival and more, for our true and indestructible well-being. My spiritual director and I ended my last session with a big smile, agreeing that we now would both do some research on tumbleweeds. Here is part of what I found. For a number of plants in the deserts of Mother Earth, tumbleweeds are absolutely essential. Without them, the few plants that grow there would not survive. You see, tumbleweeds can be parts or the whole plant after it has matured and due to the arid environment completely dried out. Yes, they are dead. The tissues of the tumbleweed structure is completely dry. No life anymore. And they even leave their roots behind and are simply tossing and turning, blowing in the wind. Yet their death is functional. It is a part, but only one part of their story. Because it is necessary for these plants to go through this stage. In various ways, but they all fall apart or eventually become stuck. And then there will be new life. There is a lot more I learned about tumbleweeds over the last couple of days. And the more I learned, the more did I feel all right with this state of being. Friends, this is in a different way the story of Holy Easter once again. Like we said as we celebrated the birth of Christ, God is not content being far away on cloud such and such. Instead, we know and believe in God with us, Emmanuel. God is with us in our confusion and topsy-turvy existence. God is wherever life might be blowing us. God is with you, wherever you may be right now. And the holy, loving presence of God is here in this house of worship right now also. And God is here to bring us back to life in all wholeness. God wants us to grow into who God wanted us to be in the first place. Beautiful, unique, talented. And we might not even recognize our previous 
dried up state of being any longer. Because yes, this too is a tumbleweed on this picture. Only this one has found back into life, living out God's purpose. Our God is all about goodness, life, and potential. Sure, Jesus, the Son of God, died like we all will. But God is greater than death. Destruction, disease, and even death will never have the last word. No, God gives us Christ, the Savior, our brother and friend, to take away our sadness and desperation. And what once was arid, dry, and dead can most certainly become a green, fruitful, and life-giving presence once again. Yes, sure, we again need to lock down in Ontario, and we'd better do it. But let us never forget God's holy presence with us broke the lockdown of Jesus' grave to break free and come through for me, for you, for all of God's wonder-filled creation. Death does not have the last word, not at all, but life does, and faith, hope, and love, they shall prevail. Happy Easter to you all, wherever you may be, and may you know the life of God now and all your ways. Amen. Now the green blade rises from the buried grain. We eat that in dark earth many days has lain. Love lives again, that with the dead has been. Love is come again, like wheat a rising green. In the grave they laid him, love by hatred slain. Thinking that he would never wake again Laid in the earth Like grain that sleeps unseen Love is come again Like wheat a rising green Alive in the risen Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit, we bring our prayers before God, who promised to hear us and answer in steadfast love. As we say, hear us, O God, and respond with, your mercy is great. Praise to you for your power revealed in the resurrection from death. Fill your church with the power of your love that is stronger than death. 
Send us to tell the good news wherever death holds away. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy is great. Praise to you for your life at the work in resurrection. Fill all your creation with your life. Bring it to bloom and flourish. Use it to remind us of your persistent grace. Cultivate our care for what we have made. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy mercy is great. Praise to you for the peace made possible in the resurrection. Fill all nations with your peace. Draw together people of all nations and languages. Reveal new possibilities and inspire inspire new beginnings. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy mercy is great. Praise to you for the hope of the resurrection. Fill all in need with hope. Those who are afraid or confused. Those who are sick or suffering. Those who are dying. And we remember Sheila. And those who grieve. Assure them all of your promises. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Praise to you for the joy of your resurrection. Fill us who worship together, wherever we may be, with joy as we are called your beloved in our baptism. Multiply that joy so that we share it at home and in our community as we call write or email one another over the coming weeks. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy mercy is great. Praise to you for your faithfulness revealed in the resurrection. Fill us with trust that we join with all who have gone before us in proclaiming your mercy endures forever. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. In the hope of new life in Christ, we rise our prayers to you, trusting in your never-ending goodness and mercy. Through the risen one, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love and infinite in God's mercy. He welcomes us sinners and invites us to the Lord's table. So let us now confess our sinfulness, confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, Have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. And Almighty and loving God has mercy on you, pardons and delivers you from all your sins and keeps you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to, to give, give our thanks, thanks and praise. praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb, who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, you we praise and glorify, you we worship and adore. You formed the earth from chaos, you encircled the globe with air, you created fire for warmth and light, you nourished the lands with water. And you molded us in your image. You blessed the Israelites and cherished them as your own, that also we, estranged and dying, might be adopted to live in your spirit. You called us through the life and death of Jesus. And in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Together as the body of Christ, praying the safety of our homes, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. With this bread, we remember your Son, the firstborn of your new creation. We remember his life lived for others and his death and resurrection, which renews the face of the earth. We await his coming, when with the world made perfect through your wisdom, all our sins and sorrows will be no more. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Holy God, holy and merciful, send upon us and this meal your Holy Spirit, whose breath revives us for life, whose fire rouses us to love. Enfold in your arms all who share this holy food in their homes. Nurture us in the fruits of the Spirit, that we may be a living tree sharing your bounty with all the world. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy and benevolent God, receive our prayers and petitions as Jesus received the cry of the needy and fill us with your blessing until needy no longer and bound to you in love we feast forever in the triumph of the lamb through whom all glory and honor is yours O god o living one 
with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, now and forever. Amen. with you on the cross. Now, now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb. Now, now we share in your resurrection. Live in us that we may live in you. And here now are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Let us pray. God of peace, on this holy day of your resurrection, you have nourished us with holy gifts. May we who have received such holy things keep faith in our hearts and lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen.
understand. Peace to know, peace to live. My peace I give unto you. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And now, may our glorious God grant you a spirit of wisdom and comfort to know and to love the risen Lord Jesus. So blesses you, God, the God of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. You are the body of Christ raised up for the world. Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God. <laughs>